What's up everybody? We have a triangle battery that we are going to install on the Apis e-bikes. Now this has been one of the more popular installs in the Facebook groups. So one was brought into the shop, uh, an old customer of mine, and I referenced him to Brad. It's here. Brad called me and said, hey, uh, we need dual battery. This is the Apis M2 Pro. We are going to add a second 48 volt battery. This is a triangle battery in the bag. I know this gentleman bought this thing as a recommendation of mine. So let's see how big it is. This is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. I believe this is a 17 and a half, not positive, but we'll check that out. And then we'll give you some range calculations towards the end of the video. So stick around for that. We will leave links for all these products in the description below, including the recommended battery list, the 40 amp kit that we'll use to make the install, as well as other batteries and other products that will work. Keep in mind, we do have the thumb throttle, vertical thumb throttle that will work on the Apis bikes. It's the electric Apis thumb throttle kit with ergonomic grips. That's a really good add. And then it is worthwhile to check out the bump stop suspension seat post. You can thank me later when you get on something like this, even with a rear suspension setup, the bump stop suspension seat post is a quality add for your full suspension e-bikes. We'll leave a link in the description below. Also the cloud nine seat. Now it has been said that this seat is quite nice. So keep that in mind. These are just suggestions. And we also like the CST BFT 26 by four tires. But if you feel like you want to get a more puncture resistant tire, we will leave links for the Allscape tires in the description below as well. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the area, check out e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, get in that Facebook group, make an event and go for a ride with your friends. Here we go. This class, is that what you're saying, Dan? It's classy. I am, but you're fine. You get a mic. It's in the black box right there by the voltmeter. Matt, do you find the bikes with the rear suspension like this? Do they are they a little more wobbly than a regular bike, or can't you really tell? To be honest, I've never reviewed this bike, but oftentimes, I mean, that feels pretty stiff, uh, and it's rolling the full width at the bottom bracket here on the swivel, so. I mean, the spacing here is good. There's no play in the shock. What I do know is that there have been talks about the support and its structural uh, stability here and then the weld, this weld. Um, but for these bikes, for the money, it's just like, you know, you gotta, there's gonna have to be a give at some point. You find this is one of the cheapest bikes out there for what you get? Um, for, yeah, for what you get. I, I would say that customer service is where you want to be comparable e-bike uh, level of quality or above electric. Um, and they're growing, right? They're increasing their model line. They're trying to make it better. They just keep increasing the, like they're changing and adding the, a better rear suspension, um, sh a better shock. And then they're actually adding uh, hydraulic brakes instead of the cable pulls. It seems like that's one of the biggest problems with a lot of people that buy something online is trying to get customer support and parts and stuff yeah, for it. It's crucial, you, especially here in the United States. It must be. It cannot, you just can't, right? Otherwise, you're going to be subject to like, you know, you're an Amazon store and anything they say goes and you'll be running returns for the rest of your life. Chargebacks, you know. That kind of stuff you definitely want to you want to make it easy too that's the one thing that people forget is like they make this repair stuff so damn hard by having these wonky designs she is packed in there dan 
Okay, everything's plugged in so far. We, uh, we're looking at this the way I know um, which kit, right, is the current limit that's written on here. If it's over 20, the only other kit we have is a 20 amp kit. So this is a 25 amp current limit, so it needs space, right? So we're gonna put a 40 amp kit on there and that should give it enough current capacity to handle this controller and everything that uh, it's pushing to the motor. That's that. And you have a plug and play kit for it. Yeah. Ta da! Okay, so the very first thing I do is I take one of the cable sets from the kit and I need to get it up into this housing because we're going to try an internal install, meaning we want the balancer inside. So we've come up through this bottom hole and then we've brought it through the housing and out. And we're just going to let this hang for a moment right here. Now I have my balancer. What I really need is to get this tape off. This is a 3M tape that is over the connection for the battery plate and pin connectors to the actual controller of the bike. So it goes bye-bye. So pull the plate. It's just that easy. And then once I pull out the balancer, all I do is I look at the face here and it says out, in, in. Well, in is the batteries, right? So they plug in here and then out actually is like a male XT60 and it plugs into the controller like so. The battery representative is the plate here. So you're gonna plug it in on one of these. And then the next battery, which is the cable that I've just run, which we'll put over here, gets plugged in here. So at this point, I need a test. So the easiest way for this to happen is for me to get this battery onto the frame. So I'm going to leave these loose because I'm likely going to be running some of the cabling up and I'll just use them to help strap either through here, maybe tidy help a cable clip. I'm not sure what the route will be. I just need to make sure it stays out of the way. There's plenty of things to get a hold of here so it doesn't obstruct the suspension. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and test this out. So that looks like a, a good route. This is where we'll just, this is plug in to test. So now we're ready to see if it'll fire up. And I see an, a screen is on. We'll likely throw an error on the motor cable, and we do. It's error three, but we have power. So that's good. My goal now is to get this fit inside the frame. Lots of stuff here. So we just want to be careful of what's going on. I may do the Brad special, and he likes to zip tie these things together, so let's get some of that going. What this will do is keep the XT60s from coming undone. So do you find that most people are able to do this themselves if they're, looks like even if they're slightly mechanically inclined, they, they would be able to do this? That's the hope. That's kind of the, the whole impetus is to be able to get a second battery without having to pay an absorbent price to do so, you know? And so if I can provide instructions and allow that to be possible for someone where they're saving a couple hundred dollars, it's worthwhile.
So when you're putting it in here, make sure you slip it past the brake cables. It'll actually be an obstruction for you when you're trying to get it down inside the housing. But once you're in, you're in. And then once that goes, then you can bring the balancer and just tuck it in there. There's plenty of space. And once that's in, there it is we nailed it Dan we nailed it one of the tricks with this is you never ever ever want to lose the screw when you're putting it back in you want to make sure you <laughs> have it because it'll drop down in the body right and then you got to take it all back out and it is not fun Now you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have made sure that all of the slack is out of this motor cable line before you close up your battery compartment. You have been warned. So right here, I'm just going to take my second extension cable and I'm going to plug it in and get some length. I'm going to do the Brad special with the uh, zip ties. And this cable I'm actually going to run on the other side that it's going to come up through this opening and then we are going to tie off with these straps here. Turn the bike around, got everything situated so we can see it when it's plugged in. And then I'm just gonna add the primary battery. Now the second battery is disconnected. We know that that's not plugged in, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. There we go. Has one. Let's check throttle. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and remove that battery. One last time, check this battery. Perfect. That's what we want. 17 and a half amp hours for the main battery. There we go. Go ahead and get everything tucked away inside and then close this thing up. Here's the thing, before we get started with this closeout end, yeah. look at look at what I did. Oh nice, yeah. You like it? Yeah. I did Where'd that. Where'd you for learn you. that? 
I did that for you specifically <laughs> since it's going to be coming from the shop. Nice. All right, Brad, here's the deal. Uh, this was a 20 amp hour battery, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery in a bag triangle fits perfect. Yeah. Like it was meant to be, right? right? Uh, main battery is 17 and a half amp hours and everybody wants to know the range. So we're just going to calculate it because we don't have time today to be riding bikes all day. So here it is. Uh, the calculation goes like this. We utilize the Michael constant, which says it's 25 watt hours per mile ridden. So you're going to go ahead and add together all of your watt hour amp hours. And that's 17 and a half for the main plus 20, which is the triangle. You get 37.5 amp hours. Multiply that by 48 volts and you get 1800 watt hours. Divide that by 25. Following along at home. <laughs> And you get 72 miles. Now, this is 20 miles an hour throttle only. Yeah, sure. Micah Toll. Do you know who Micah Toll is? Yeah, yeah, I went to school with him. You what? I went to school with him. The e-bike school? <laughs> Happy to hook this up. There are a lot of people looking for this. Everybody's looking for this install in particular. So very happy to go ahead and get that done. And I appreciate you calling me up to let me capture the video for doing it. Sure. Drew. Tag. This is Drew's bike, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I... He brought two. There's the uh, HEPA uh, Privacy it? Act there. I don't think I should be talking about names. Oh. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> I'm Matt, in case you guys are wondering. This is customer A's bike. Drew. Drew knows, Drew we knows might, what's up. We're going to call him Drew. Yes. Anyway, he has the Apis M2 Pro full suspension 26 by 4 with the CST BFT fat tires. We like it a lot. It had a pretty big battery for what it was, and now it has double plus. Even more. Yeah. So excited for him. That'll get him on down the road, give him all the range he needs, and then hopefully last him a really long time. We will leave links for all of the products in the description below. The 40 amp balancer, the battery, the recommended battery list. You are not isolated to this battery. You can get 48, any 48 volt battery you want. Just make sure that it has the XT60 plugins for the kit and the BMS can meet the controller current limit, which is 25 amps. Uh, not much of a problem with this, this brand of bike and most no, not most. All batteries in the recommended list will work with the Apis M2 Pro. Keep in mind, you'll also want to check out a bike case suspension seat post. We'll also leave a link for Cloud9 seats. And we have the vertical thumb throttle that works with the Apis bikes. You seem to like that one too, yeah. right? Everybody's, if they're coming in for a switch, it, it gets it done. So yeah. there is that. That's it. I appreciate your help. Yeah, on course. to the next one. I think there's a throttle that needs some fixing, so we're going to move on to that. If you guys haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary, and if you're in the area, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group, make an event, and go for a ride with your friends. And if you need any PEV e-bike, hy hydrofoil, hydrofoil, still waiting on the hydrofoil, come see Brad at Tarpon Tom's e-bikes for your PEV repair, modification, upgrade, and dual battery install of electric all-wheel components. He and the crew will take good care of you. We'll talk to you next time.